Oh, nice punch. Nice punch. He felt that way. Punch. That was huge. That must have hurt. I like that. More of that, okay? Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Got 30. Let's go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now try to lock it up. 30 seconds. I like it. I, yes. Keep chasing that sub. Keep chasing that sub. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. This is truly an eight-point striker, DC. A Muay Thai practitioner making the walk to the octagon yet again here tonight. I love the way he stands high on his toes whenever he's approaching. The hands are high, not always close. They're just up and high. He's bouncing on that back foot, and everything he throws has no load up. The outside leg kick is truly something special. He will brutalize you with the leg kick in the moment you start to switch your stance. He will go across to the opposite side to beat that leg up. Then you get desperate. You start trying to grab him. That's when you start to run into the knees. You start to run into the elbows. He's just the most brutal guy that we've seen in the UFC for a long time. And at last check, there are no gloves or any padding on the feet or the knees. So Nothing to protect. Caution, flammable. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. The Gorilla! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of five wins, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Gokan, the Rebel Saki! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one. This fighter has won the majority of his recent fights by knockout. Each one more devastating than the last. So
certainly that is a big focus for him here tonight, to not just keep the winning ways going. Oh! That's how you finish a fight. Establish that jab once again. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! What a performance! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by... Knockout! The Gorilla! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. Nice kick. That's a nice one. He felt that one. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. 
we all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. This is truly an eight-point striker, DC. A Muay Thai practitioner making the walk to the octagon yet again here tonight. I love the way he stands high on his toes whenever he's approaching. The hands are high, not always close. They're just up and high. He's bouncing on that back foot, and everything he throws has no load up. The outside leg kick is truly something special. He will brutalize you with the leg kick in the moment. You start to switch your stance, he will go across to the opposite side to beat that leg up. Then you get desperate. You start trying to grab it. Then you start to run into the knees. You start to run into the elbows. He's just the most brutal guy that we've seen in the UFC for a long time. And at last check, there are no gloves or any padding on the feet or the knees. So Nothing to protect. Him. Caution, flammable. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Four years apart with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC, a light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer holding a professional record of eight wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. The Gorilla! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 27 wins, six losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 204 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Big Train. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? Well, his last fight was man back inside the octagon. Round one getting underway here. As many of you know, he won his last fight by blistering knockout. His popularity has absolutely soared since. So with momentum tonight, he'll try to keep the winning streak and the knockout streak still intact. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the team. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the gun. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing wins. Fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Both fighters get up now. All right, single collar tie now. Boom! Blocks the shot. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ball collar tie. And they set it. so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Let's rewrap the highlight now. D 
DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Gorilla! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you do it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.